Hi everybody and welcome to my scariest video of the year, a How I Shot It Halloween special. My friend Grace is modeling, she's got scary makeup on, I'm going to use smoke, spider's web, speed lights, gels, just got to chuck everything at this shoot and see what happens. Happy Halloween! Okay, so we have now a scary setup. So at the moment, we're gonna build this shot up because I do have an idea in my mind, but it's gonna take a little bit of, of work to get to that final point, but we'll go through that in stages today. So just to talk you through what we've got here. First of all, we've got the beautiful, well, scary looking Grace today over here with amazing makeup, which has been done by Nicola and Kelly from Sonara Parker. So a massive thank you to them both. And we've got this spider's web which my friend Tony has very kindly made for me, stretching across these two light stands. You won't see the light stands in the picture, obviously. And at the moment, we have one speed light in the mag box over here. That's going to light Grace. And what I want to do is shoot through this spider's web. Now, to, in order to see that spider's web, we have to light it. Now, I've got this very low power video light to do that, or this any LED panel. Because if I hit this with a flash, even at 128th power, the lowest power setting, it's still probably going to be a bit too strong. So I may end up changing that and putting the, the, the speed light quite far back, in which case we can use it. But for now, I'm just going to see how we get on with this sort of LED panel. So settings wise, I'm at 130th of a second. That's going to let in quite a lot of ambient light and I'm doing that because I want to try and get these um, spider's webs in the foreground. If the shutter speed was too fast we wouldn't pick up the spider's webs. I'm at 6.3 and my ISO is at 1600 so that setting is basically designed to la allow in ambient light. Let's just take a quick test shot. That looks good. Now I'm going to just see what happens when I turn off the lights. It's going to make it hard for you to see me, but at the moment we're getting too much light from the ceiling. So let's just turn those off. We turn the lights off now, so let's just see what we get this time. That looks cool. That looks really cool. What I'm now going to do, amazing, thank you, is add in two speed lights behind Grace to add in a little bit of backlight and I'm then going to turn the smoke machine on and we'll see what that gives us. Okay, so we've now developed the idea a little bit more and I've now put two speed lights behind Grace. They're both on the minimum power of 128th power because it was so dark here that any flash power becomes really bright. I did originally have the speed lights within the frame, but as you'll see in these shots, I felt as though seeing the speed lights was just way, way too distracting. So I've now taken them out and we've got the speed lights behind Grace, but out of the side of the image. So the out side of the composition and we're now getting something amazing perfect yeah these look really cool thank you grace yeah these look brilliant so i'm having to use a tripod for these photographs because we are at such a slow shutter speed and as i said before the reason that we're at a slow shutter speed i'm now at a 40th of a second is because i want to allow the ambient in to light up these cobwebs Thank you very much, Grace. What we're going to do now is let in some smoke behind Grace, and hopefully that's going to give us something really, really cool. So let's go over to the smoke machine. This is the really exciting bit. Whoa. Perfect that, thank you. I'm going to take you over here just to talk about what we're doing. Because those photographs there, I love them, I think they're really cool, but the spider's web didn't show up as much as I would have liked, so because of that, I've took one of the speed lights away from behind Grace and put it in front of the spider's web to light up the spider's webs, and then we've now just got one speed light behind Grace. So let's just see what we get with this setup. So, 
This here is speed like C, which is lighting up the cobwebs, and it's on the lowest power setting again of 128. So let's see what this gives us. Yeah, that's cool. So as soon as that smoke starts kicking in, really cool. Let's just wait for more smoke. Okay, so what we're now going to do is turn up the speed light, which is behind Grace, which is speed light A, just to really exaggerate that smoke. So the speed light behind is basically just doing one job, and that job is to light up the smoke. So let's see what we get this time. Speed light A is now on a 16th power. Yeah, cool. Really good. So these are much more dramatic than they were before. Amazing. Thank you. That's, I love how the the smoke hangs in the air so we can and Grace is so good to work with you can see that I, I'm not actually asking Grace to do anything she's just she's just bringing the bringing the go <laughs> yeah cool yeah that's a good pose you do that Grace cool thank you Okay, so we're now on the 85 mil and we're lighting Grace from below and up to give really sort of scary, spooky lighting. That's good. Well, you did, whatever you did with your eyes, that, that's good. Yeah, these are proper freaky. Ooh, amazing. <laughs> it's funny, when, when, you, when you smile, it's my fault. Everything just goes away in terms of the weirdness. Yeah. What was happening with your eyes at one point? Was that on purpose? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, did you do that again? Yeah. God, yeah. That looks good. It's proper freaky, that. Okay, so what we're going to do for these last shots, well, what I have done is remove the mag box because although those shots were really cool and I was really happy with them, they weren't particularly scary. So what I've now done is took the mag box away and put one speed light below Grace this time, pointing upwards to give like horrible, freaky lighting. That speed light has got two mag, mod, mag grids on it and the mag sphere. So the mag grids are gonna really like kill the ambient because the other thing that I'm slightly struggling with is, is the flash power because even at the lowest power setting, the, the flash is still strong. So the grids are just helping me to kill that flash power. That's brilliant, Grace. These I absolutely love. Yes, Grace does this freaky thing with her eyes. That is amazing. Okay, I'm, I, yeah, I think we're done with those. Thank you so much. So those were all taken on the 85 mil at 1.8, again, through the cobwebs to give this really sort of weird foreground bokeh. The smoke behind with a speed light behind to light the smoke and more importantly, a speed light at the front lighting Grace from below and up. Okay, so the setup that we've got for this now is we've pulled out the spider's web and made, well, I haven't, Tony's very kindly done that, pulled out the spider's web to give a lot of foreground sp spider's web. We've got one speed light down here, which again has got two magmog grids on it and the mag sphere. That's lighting grace from below. And we're just putting a little bit of light onto the cobwebs here with this LED panel. And let's see what that gives us. I'm at 160th at 2.8 to ISO 200. The foreground looks really cool now because of, yeah, that's amazing. Proper freaky. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's perfect. So now we've just got smoke cream from the background. Again, I need to reiterate how good Grace is because I'm literally just pressing the shutter now. That low angle of light is one that you would never ever use in normal situation because it's really unflattering. But for this situation, it works really well. Awesome. <laughs> That's so mad. Good, that is amazing. Thank you so much. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this spooky, spooky video. A massive thank you to Grace for being so incredible and so scary. To Tony for being such a dab hand with the smoke and with the spider's web. Thank you again for watching. 
and... Happy Halloween! You cannot.